8254 imagine All right, welcome back. You're still hanging out with us right here on a Y in the Morning. And Brian Salko, the segment is Youth and Politics. You're trying to actually dive into what's making headlines, so shaping uh, political headlines in our country. And uh, before we went on a break, uh, uh, Manuel, you're talking about, uh, but today also being World President's Day, uh, yes. I'd like to just uh, share uh, who are some of the, let, let me say, groundbreakers. Mm -hmm. They call them groundbreakers, mm -hmm. groundbreaking presidents who have mm -hmm. a remarkable history in terms terms of revolutionization, yeah. um, ensuring that our country was brought to the light when yeah. it comes to matters leadership before I get to you, Henry, as yeah. well. Well, I would really want to celebrate uh, the late president, uh, Kibaki, for his remarkable work in especially economics. He really stabilized the economics of Kenya. And um, you notice actually top of um, the world celebrated among the, um, you know, the economists of the time. So uh, I think he really did a great contribution by even selflessness. One time I remember his brother caught at the border of Busia and he did not want to pay taxes. And uh, you know, the president calls his brother and says, well, you know, when I go to presidency, I didn't tell you that you would not pay taxes. So ensure you pay tax. Right. So I, I have seen that move again now with the current president saying that even himself would be paying taxes. Yeah. And I think if, you know, we, we say even uh, scripturally, whatever belongs to Caesar should be given to Caesar. Right. So I think, uh, and, and, and usually there's a lot of pressure when it is just those people who earn very little are the ones who are contributing to taxation. Yeah, they're paying more, actually. Yeah, 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 you know. And there's that tax index clause yes. that was being highlighted, yes. uh, claiming that, you know, the Kenyatas yes. have been for a very long time excluded from, yeah. you know, being taxed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the other side took it as a political move to malign, yes. you know, the previous yes. leadership. Yes. Actually, it was blown out of proportion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think because most of those things are actually in the law. They just need to work within the confines of the law. There are certain clauses that indicate that uh, the former presidents, actually Mze um, Moi and Mze um, Kenyatta, were not supposed to pay for certain things. And I think right. because it's already, it was in the law, that should be just let to go. But you whatever feel like it, it should be scrapped off right now? I think whatever, because um, I would want to celebrate Mze Kenyatta, especially for his contributions in uh, the independence of the country. You know, those, those guys paid for the independence we enjoy today with their sweat, their blood, and their lives. Right. So uh, some of those things we can say, and more so because they were actually included in the law, let them just be. But uh, for the things that now have, you know, transpired after those times, I think they need to be relooked. Let, let whatever it is that should be paid to the government, let just be paid to the government. Right. Let the, I would really make this as, as an honest appeal as a young person, especially to our politicians. We have right. so many of them having a lot of wealth, having a lot of businesses and all that, making a lot of crazy money. Right. I would, you know, my, 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 my appeal would be even young people, we are paying for the little things that we have. I right. mean, so let the politicians also uh, help contribute to the taxation so that we can actually make our, our country better by, because tax is our number one source of income, uh, right. revenue for the government. So let's right. pay tax. Uh, KRA would tell us to, to lipe ushuru to jitageme. To jitageme. Yes. Yes, Henry. Okay. I'd like to also pass my contributions to the same about the one president day. Okay. Um, we have to understand that the once President Day is one um, culture that began in the United States of America. Mm. It's usually celebrated on the third Monday of every February okay. annually. Yeah. Yep. So today being the, the third Monday of the month on 20th, the day is here with us. And today I was very blessed by some people who just called me, Mr. President, happy right. President's Day. <laughs> <Right>. So <laughs> I, I think um, we have to celebrate the presidents who are doing a good job because that was a, actually the initial intention of having the once president's day um, and the contribution of even our country's presidents who have been there um, since independence i like the contributions of uh, his excellency kibaki i also like the, the contributions of um the his excellency um, um william samoy ruto whatever he is doing right now i think he is heading in the right directions. We just need to be patient with him. All right. Again, on the same note, I would like also to challenge the president um, on the ongoing reforms on IEBC. All right. 
let him try to be inclusive so that we are going to have many more um, mayhems, as you can yeah. see. I think that's what Azimio um, is, 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 is actually running um, after. Okay. So that they want inclusive in, inclusiveness in, in making decisions on um, ele elections um, procedures within the country. Okay. So on the same note, again, um, I would like to also uh, recognize the good guys who have actually been congratulating me for the good job I'm doing at the Catholic University. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think that is a good title and we have to advocate for presidency, not just in this country, young presidency. We want to see young presidents let young people take up the mantle of leadership and be presidents. Right. I would like also to see myself in my that is being the president of country of this right. of this country. What what is wrong with that? Right. Let us challenge our young people to yeah. rise up to occasion and take leadership and be presidents. Okay. So again, um, as you sum it up, as, yeah. as, as, uh, okay. as, your, as your parting shot, because we have to usher in the okay. next segment okay. and where people can find you and what you do at Kua okay. in less than a minute. Okay. As I part it, um, um, I wish to uh, welcome every serious Kenyan. Right. to the only best university in Kenya. Not right. just in Kenya, Eastern and Central Africa, um, South of Sahara, and North of River Limpopo. The mm -hmm. Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Okay. <laughs> it is the only university, it is the second university with the article. Actually, there are only two in this country, the University of Nairobi and the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Okay. So I, I welcome um, Kenyans um, and everyone globally. We pride ourselves to have an heritage of more than 40 years. We pride ourselves to have... Um, um, diversity cultures with students from all over Africa and the, the entire globe. So I would like to challenge us. You saw even the, during the presidential uh, debates, right. we have the best infrastructures in Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to welcome <coughs> Kenyans. The results are out right now. I welcome um, the uh, candidates of last year who have, have just received their results to actually register for Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Um, you can find me in Facebook, in Instagram, in um, LinkedIn, in Twitter, um, um, and Rebellions. And Rebellions, okay. that's the name that they call me there. Yes, we are my comrades. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so, yes. uh, thank uh, you. Manu. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, um, I appreciate for, uh, you know, the opportunity. Um, someone can find me on Facebook, uh, Manu okay. Favor. Uh, can find me on Facebook, Manu Favor, Instagram, Manu underscore Favor, uh, LinkedIn, Emmanuel uh, Favor. You can find me on um, TikTok, you know, the, the comrades uh, uh, place to be. Yeah, Emmanuel Favor. So, and um, I also one of the things, book, yeah. Uh, you sent me a, a, a cover of a book called Building Capacity. Yeah. If people can buy it, where yes. can they get it? Sure. Uh, the, 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 the contacts are actually available there. You can actually reach to me through okay. the, the, the socials. Do you mind if you want to give it? Yes. Okay, please. Yeah, do. yeah, sure. So uh, the book, Building Capacity, is just um, a challenge to young people to do self-discovery, self-development, self-actualization by realizing that you don't really need to fake it. You know, they say you fake it till you make it, but yeah. you don't necessarily have to fake it till you make it. You can actually work yourself up and become what you're supposed to be. I believe that everyone has a potential in them. And so the, the book, Building Capacity, really talks about how exactly what is capacity, how you can amass that uh, volume in you to amass whatever it is that you're supposed to give the world, serve the world, and then work it out, how you can actually build your capacity. And by, uh, I, I would really challenge you because I, I have... I have a lot of reviews already coming. So that okay. book will do you a lot of justice in just yeah. becoming the best version of yourself. All right. I thought you'd give out the number, but well, too late. Too late. Too bad. <laughs> okay. okay. Too bad. Uh, so we take a very short break. We come back with the next of the programming. Stay right there.